Hey everyone, I'm Demon Trigger. I am Mitch Rikes here. And this sure is something. We're playing the same game. Is this a new LP? Yes, this is a new LP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is Donkey Kong Country 3 for the GBA. At least about nine years after the previous one. It's a, uh... It is a controversial port. All of them are, really. Hmm. Yeah, I heard about the, uh, the one for DKC2, which has a certain something that I... Oh, wait, no, that already happened. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember things, but yeah. So we got a new but world, yeah. huh? <laughs> uh-huh. So yeah, uh, Pacifica is a brand new world that they added into the GBA port. It is in the middle of the ocean for some, or middle of a lake for some reason, and and it's kind of a nice because all of the um, all of the levels are kind of water themed while mm -hmm. also having like their own sort of things about them. Yeah, they're not all like water stages particularly, but they're like kind of surrounded by like that theme of like you know you're near the ocean or something like that, kind of like Cotton Top Cove except. Not as bad, really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, th th this level's like way better than, or this world is way better than Cotton Top Cove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like all things considered, you expect like some like extra world added in to be kind of bad or like half-hearted, but I think I think they did a pretty good job with it. Mhm. Mm I do. I do wish it wasn't all like a straight port, just to see how the rest of the game would have been designed if they did it like this. Mm -hmm. But you know. Yeah. We um, also got some new music for the those that are attentive. The new, uh, completely new Game Boy Advance soundtrack. Mhm. Mm yeah. All of the music has been redone by uh, David Wise himself, and, um, as opposed to uh, Evelyn Fisher from the original uh, three. Yeah. And some of them are, you know, some of them are better, some of them are worse. I'm pretty half and half about them, although I did, um, play this game on a Game Boy Advance since I didn't own it for the Super Nintendo, so I'm actually more partial to the mm -hmm. tracks in this game. Yep. Yeah, I can see why. There are a couple of, uh, there are plenty of really good tracks on this one, and there are, like, a couple or a few that are really good in the SNES version. Right, like like the pipe version, like the pipe music in this one, I think is better than the Super Nintendo one. But that's just me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do kind of like the other one just because it's really chill. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there goes uh, Sonic the Swordfish. <laughs> and there you go, getting hurt and Diddy flying off there. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. But funny. Yeah. It's just hilarious being able to outrun the screen. I like, um, if you go down there, you can actually, um, if you pause the video, you can actually see the, um, the urchins. I just, people are, like, in the beer past videos call them clams, but I don't know, I think they're urchins. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be urchins. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who called them clams, I think it was, like, I don't remember. It was someone. But, like, if you, like, pause the video while the thing's going down, the urchins actually go down with the water, like, through the floor. It's kind mm -hmm. of funny. I don't know. I know that because because you can actually get hit by them too. Yeah, exactly. And I've I've done that once. So. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I don't like how they have new sound effects for the enemies, like the Kremlings, because um, wow, they sound pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they have they have sound effects for everything. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Like even when you're just like rolling, it does a little like swoosh, or the uh, the helicopter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Care. yeah, that's right. I forgot. I, I, just, I just realized they didn't have a sound effect for that in the Super Nintendo games, huh? Mm-hmm. Also, we're gonna ignore Barnacle because he's exactly the same as in like Rangatanga, so right. I, I guess they just threw him in just because they needed a bear in the world or something. I don't know. Uh huh. It makes me wonder what they replaced him with in the other world, but I don't think I don't they replaced know. him. I don't think they did. I, I'm, 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 I don't remember um, him being replaced. But then again, I don't really like the bears, so I never really visit them when I play through the game again, so I don't know. Hmm. Also, the first time I played this game, I couldn't find this bonus because I didn't remember <laughs> about broken floors. <laughs> I like how in the in this level in particular, because I guess like the uh, the template is a little bit darker, the crack is actually like a completely different spike that just kind of sticks out there, if you mm -hmm. notice it. It's like a completely different yeah. color from the rest of the floor. 
And I do like the background with the rolling waves and everything. Yeah, it's very chill. It's a very and with I mean with the new track here, which I think is one of the better uh, decisions, like a, a much chiller track than the um, the other game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is it's probably one of my favorite tracks in the game, and the original uh, one in the SNES version was not very liked by me, the, so... The least favorite, so it's a good change there. I mean, I, it makes sense, like, you know, because if they just ported the songs over, it would sound terrible, as evidenced mm -hmm. by the two games before this, really. It just makes uh, it sound a lot worse, I think. Yeah, I hadn't played the other two uh, ports, so I have no knowledge of those. It's... it's... eh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Oh, we're gonna get ready to do this again. I... It's so crazy, <laughs> you could just go off screen, wow. Yeah, and just a whole bunch of just dying fish oh, as you go. One quick niche thing about this stage, um, these TNT guys that run around, they weren't in the Super Nintendo version. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, they, they, like the sprites were there, and I think even the code was. But they just never found a good place to use them in the uh, original game. So, you know, with the new world, they're just like, you know, let's just throw these guys in. Just because mm -hmm. we have them. Which I think is Man, you see a lot of other uh, enemies from, like, previous gimmick levels, like those fish. Mm -hmm. Or uh, in the previous level, there was the rocket barrel. Which did, well, it didn't really need to be there, but it was there, and yeah. so it's a nice little, hey, remember this? It, it could have just been like a rotating barrel thing, but, you know, we wanted to remind mm. it. It kind of mm. kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 2 in a way, like reusing gimmicks upon with other gimmicks. Yeah. yeah. Also, that shield is really good, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I really like doing that. It, you, like, just completely drops a bunch of frames. Which, this version is really bad about, just in general, like, it's really easy to slow down the game. Because there's too much stuff going on at screen at once. Yeah. I think that shows up quite a bit in the next level, too. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna ignore that for now. And check out this new cave. It's not wrinkly. Nope. Is she even in this game? Because I haven't seen she, her. She is, but she has, like... You could save the game by pressing start on the pause screen, so she still has like banana birds come with her, but she doesn't like save your game, and she's actually in like a completely different area. Like she's not playing Nintendo 64, she's in like a weird temple thing. It looks really stupid. <laughs> that yeah. sounds hilarious. It's really dumb. Anyway. So yeah, uh, Swanky has a completely new game that we have to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something. Yep. So we're thrown into a uh, Sonic 2 tunnel for some reason. I love 15 frames per second 3D stages. <laughs> exactly. That this, If this was on the Super Nintendo, this would be like Mode 7 as hell. Right? Oh. oh well, I'm not getting all the stars this time. I, I guess, I, 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 I guess, like, if you do really good, you get the banana bird. I don't know, because... Honestly, I once I finished this bonus once, I never touched it again because, I mean, just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, it's... I, I think like the viewer can tell. Like, this is really slippery and hard to control. No joke. This is just a nightmare. Yeah. And it's really obnoxious and also partly nauseating. <laughs> exactly. Maybe. What's even more amazing is that, like, they have, like, a different type of, like, pipe to run through in different worlds with, like, a different layout. So it's, like, they thought people would play this multiple times for fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they thought this wow. was a good idea. I can't uh, believe it either, Swanky. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, well, at least we got some bananas. Some bananas are always good. Yep. Now this level's kind of interesting because instead of like most tree levels, you actually start at the top. Mm hmm. For a good reason. Mm hmm. So, anyway, we're gonna kill this guy. Whoa, what or the? Not. Um. <laughs> okay. Barrels. <laughs> that was very bizarre, and I don't know what happened. But yeah. It's okay. Here, we killed him anyway. So, here we have like a tree level, but there's water. Which is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a good way to handle going down the tree because otherwise you just, you know, 
like gravity do everything for you. Make leaps of faith or go really slow with Dixie's hair, basically. Mm. Yeah, and that wouldn't be very interesting. So I I do like how they did it like this. It works. I know I know you mentioned um you don't you don't really care for like the ominous like music that plays in the old version. Like what do you think about this one that's more like kindergarten -y, cheery stuff? <laughs> Uh, it's kind of weird. I could, I could see it fitting into some of the levels, but, uh, I don't know, just imagining this playing while doing Ripsaw Rage is just yeah. kind of hilarious to me. I, I don't know, I really like the, um, the, the, the original version a lot more myself. Like, when I heard this, I'm like, something is wrong. Like, this doesn't, I don't feel like it fits. I feel like the other version fits a lot more for some reason. Mm, that makes sense, yeah. I guess. It's, it's, it, 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 this song doesn't even fit with the other songs in this soundtrack because it is more lighthearted while everything else is kind of... Like, even the redone tracks are more serious right. sounding. That Dave Wise uh, style, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if this was in the SNES version, it probably would have fit better. Considering it has some of the other tracks that are like that, but... Right. Yeah, exactly. Probably... That's actually kind of ironic when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> just like how the other song would go well in this soundtrack, so... It's just completely yeah. backwards, I guess. Oh, well. And speaking of, like, new songs, um, we forgot to talk about, uh... If you, um, that new bonus track... Like, if you, like, fail a bonus a bonus game in, like, the Super Nintendo game, it gets, like, a, a short little thing and you're immediately done, right? Like, you, you don't... Mm -hmm. It doesn't hold you up for long, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's in, only like a half second or so. Yeah, in this game, if you fail a track, they made a failure track that lasts for like 10 seconds. So if you yeah. fail uh, if you fail a bonus... Ouch. If you fail a bonus... <laughs> ouch. You, um, you stay on that screen in freeze frame, listening to like a sad kazoo or something, telling you how much, how bad you are at the game. It's the meme. Yeah. <laughs> This is how bad you are at video games. Oh, hey, the the acorn throwing monkeys. Monkeys are back. I don't. Yeah, I don't think they come. They come back also. Besides that one level, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they just they just reached in and pulled out all the old gimmicks. I mm -hmm. guess. Yep. Uh, we have this works. And also oh, this. Oh yeah, this level. This bonus is bad. Mm -hmm. Or it's not bad. It's just really hard. Yeah. Because the problem is, you take quite a bit to get up here, and then getting down is really annoying because... I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but the uh, when you're moving down in water, the only way you can move back up is by uh, jumping. You mm -hmm. swim up. So you you kind of delay yourself, and it's just, it's just yeah. really hard to reposition yourself to go down properly. Yeah, and considering you don't have that much time to begin with, starting from that bonus stage, it's really just you, you're forced to rush and like make probably make an easy mistake and all that. Mm -hmm. Now here's a very odd sound track. <laughs> yeah. Because I really love uh, Rock Face Rumble. It's probably mm -hmm. the best uh, song in the original Dung Young Country 3 and this song is just really weird. <laughs> I... I don't know, like, I agree, like, I think Rock Face Rumble is really good, I think it's a lot better than this track, but I think this is really good on its own merit, like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, I think, I, I still think it's good, it's a different take on, like, how to do a Canyon song, it fits yeah. still, it's still very fitting. <laughs> I think it, and the, I think it has, like, the same thing with the, uh, the forest theme, right. where it would probably work better in the SNES version. But, yeah, and... especially since Rock Face Rumble was, like, it had like a David Wise like melody going on and everything in the Super mm -hmm. Nintendo one. Here it's more like a, a, I don't know country town style or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I I can swear there's a part of this song that sounds like Sweet Home Alabama, <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> that's but every time I hear it. That's every time I hear it, I just think of Sweet Home Alabama. That's basically what it's trying to do: remind you of Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alabama. Yeah. Anyway, the stage itself, it's a lot like a uh, Bramble Blast, I guess. Mm-hmm. Only with, uh, a little bit more to do than Bramble ba Blast, yeah. really. It's a bit more involved, oh. definitely. Also, this part sucks not having Kitty, but then I figure out how to do it the proper way. Right. 
So, yeah. Also, the best part is you don't have to go pick up the DK coins. Even though I do still try to pick up the DK coins anyway. Is that a change from the Super Nintendo version? Yeah, in the Super Nintendo version, you actually have to go pick up the DK coin. Oh, wow. I never realized that. I took that for yeah. granted. Yeah, it's so weird. The copters in this stage are the biggest jerks because they blend in so well with the walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of things blend in, with, a lot of enemies blend in in this game. As well as surprise yeah. you because the game is such a tiny screen. Mm hmm. Yeah, especially the uh, with it being a widescreen like it is, the narrow uh, vertical. Case in point, by the way. Mm hmm. Yeah, like, I, when I first played this, I thought to myself, like, wow, this is like. I, I, it's it's probably like a million times better on the Super Nintendo version, but after watching like you know the playthrough, it seems like the other stages seem to have the exact same problem, no matter what you played on. Yeah. They didn't even try with hiding that bonus. I know it was pretty much right there. Yeah, I think that a lot of bonuses were kind of thrown into this game just because they needed the bonuses. Mm-hmm. Because well, I haven't mentioned it before, but every. Uh... I'm pretty sure every stage in the game has two bonus coins in it. Mm -hmm. Like every single one, except for a few that are coming up. I don't. I, I don't recall the ones. That... Oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay. I got what you mean. Maybe not in this video. Yeah. Oh man, we're about to go to the best level in the game. Hold on, we got to do something else first. Oh right, we got to do um, this. Yeah, this is. Uh... Something. This is too. this is completely new. <laughs> exactly. Cranky's dojo replaces all the uh, wrinkly cave spots, just so you know, except for the one in the main map. So that's what they are now. They're this. Ah. Uh, yeah, that would make sense since you don't really need to save the game anymore. Mm-hmm. They need At to least put not, something. Yeah, because you just do it from the pause menu. Which personally, I think is a lot better. Yeah, you know, it's a much more convenient. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially for a handheld game, it, yeah. it pretty much has to be that way. Now the mini game, this one, it's it's better than the swanky thing, I can say that much. Uh huh. It's hilarious because you could just match the directions to do this. <laughs> Fancy shield dance. Dance, dance, cranky revolution. <laughs> that would be the best game. Deflect all these mini hedgehogs. That's uh -huh. the game. Yeah, and it's also pretty generous with uh, the blocking. Like, e mm -hmm. like so you see a couple of them will get really close, but I still manage to block them. Yeah, it's not it's not a hard game at all. Although it is funny if you fail because you have Cranky. Cranky makes a little death noise and he falls over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. I don't know. Wow, that was close. Yeah, exactly. Celebration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these people cheering from nowhere. Exactly. I did it, I'm the best. You're the best. Y'all, you know, you'll never have to do this ever again unless you want bear coins, I guess. Or lives. Uh, I don't know. This game does save your lives bird. as you if you keep going, so you don't you don't oh, that, just five. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to go to the best level. <laughs> when I say best level, I mean worst. Let's just go throw this in right now. Yeah. So this is basically Gusty Glade underwater. With the urchins everywhere. I love how they're a different color, because they knew you wouldn't be able to see very well if they were the same color. Mm -hmm. Now they're just like a puke green and yellow. They look disgusting. Yeah, it's very bizarre. I don't know why that color specifically. It, it definitely stands out, I can, t I can say that much. So you can see me being careful a lot of the time because sudden bursts of uh, current. Right. I, I have to tell you, this level... Okay, you recall how I just told you like they save all those lives? I mm -hmm. think I lost like 30 lives on this stage alone the first time I went through it. Oh man. No joke. This is this shit is harder than like like they somehow managed to make a level harder than anything in Donkey Kong Country 2. In my opinion, wow. this is like ridiculous for me. Yeah. 
I can see what you mean, though, because I had trouble with uh, a yet-to-have-been-seen level of Donkey Kong Country 2, which was very similar. Mm -hmm. Except, but, like, here, like, the swimming controls aren't that great any in the first place. And then you throw in the current on top of that. Yeah, you throw in a current, so it's like, ugh, why? Yeah. It's really obnoxious. It, like, when you think about it, this level, like, doesn't isn't really that creative because it's really just a set of corridors with spiky things on the side and you got to make sure the, the current doesn't push you into it that's pretty much it, mm -hmm. all it is yeah you pretty much can see anytime oh hey these guys again oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can pretty much see any of the parts where the current is is going to be where the uh the urchins are yeah or they, just... pre they pretty much are the way to signify where the current is dixie no oh well, okay <laughs> I thought something hilarious would happen, but no. Aw. Oh. Kitty, no! <laughs> <laughs> I like how they just drift away really slowly. Yeah. I like the, um, there, this, for, I don't know if people will be able to hear it, but there's actually an aquatic ambience remix going on, which is really neat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. From the first game, it's really good. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a really good remix. Yeah. And it fits a lot better since, like, the screen is so much brighter, so these stages are brighter. So, like, you know, it's better than that kind of creepy dark thing they had going on in the original game. Woof. Yeah, sorry about that. Dogs are dogs. <laughs> dogs. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the dog's opinion on uh, Donkey Kong Country 3 for the GBA? Uh, I, have, I have a Donkey Kong plushie and he tore its head off, so that's his opinion on Donkey Kong. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That is a very playful dog. Ah, okay. <laughs> Another thing to note, speaking of brighter screens, because of that brighter screen, that one stage where with a floodlit fish, the fish are completely useless because you can see just fine. Without oh them, yeah. It is so much brighter, like you do not need the fish at all. Yeah, I'd forgotten to mention that because yeah. that was because I had to do that for something else, but that was hilarious. By the way, I love also, this, this part is really annoying at the end because it's just pushing, holding yeah. right. You're done with the stage, just just be done with it. Yeah, God. the door's right there, come on! <laughs> oh, there we go. God, freaking, like, young me finally getting to the end and just throwing my Game Boy Advance mm -hmm. out. I would have been really sad if you died to that urchin down there. I love that, that urchin. Would suck. <laughs> He's the biggest dick. <laughs> uh... Now, oddly enough, unlike every other world in the th in Donkey Kong Country 3, this one has a sixth level. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is mostly a toboggan level. Indeed. So, and it doesn't yeah. even have that rad music that was in it. I like that. I really like the toboggan, like like action music. Yeah, the, the action like chase music yeah. that plays. And this one, it's kind of like some weird disco thing going on. I don't know. Yeah. Also mentioning again about how everything having sound effects, the first time I played this I just laughed because of the ridiculous, uh, <laughs> clanging, banging yeah. sounds. Uh, so great. This stage is also really just suddenly a pipe. What's that? <laughs> and then you just suddenly end up in a pipe with water. Well, I mean, the toboggan stage is in a pipe, I guess. Oh, yeah. But it didn't have any water in it, so... No. Yeah. They didn't want to make another toboggan though. I guess not. That was a stage. That was a bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one's really hard. It's made especially harder because I, uh... Someone told me that the physics for the toboggan are actually a lot different. Like, do you know if that's true? Uh, I think so, yeah. Like, if you, uh... If you bounce off things, you bounce really high, mm -hmm. and you can jump really high too, to the point where you end up jumping into a lot of things that you wouldn't expect if you were playing the other version. <laughs> wow. Like, any of the parts where there are just a uh, swarm of bees heading towards you, like, right there. Right. Uh, if you bounce on, like, the bottom one, you'll oh. end up flying into the top one. Get the steel barrel, get the steel barrel, do it, do it, do it. Oh, no! Oh, I hope I you know, tried I it. Oh. Uh, I didn't do it because I I tried that before uh, one of the takes I cut out, oh, and no. I ended up dying into something. Because, like, if you ride it, you will go all the way to the end without getting hurt. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this whole also, part, you could go through without getting hurt. Nice. Also, for some reason, uh, the first time I played, I thought I needed that to get, like, a DK coin. Oh my god, that would have been awful. 
Yeah, I think I, t I think I took it to about where those green the green bees that go uh, side to side, and then I was like, no, that can't be. Can't be right. Not even. Yeah. Also, this bonus is weird because you get like 30 seconds, but you, you don't you don't need 30 seconds. They just didn't want you to run out of time. I guess I, I don't know. I like how they start. They use that yellow beetle again too. Speaking of returning like enemies that never show up, because the beetles yeah. really don't show up at all in the game. Yeah, I think the yellow beetles only show up in the Belcha fight. Right. Yeah. So they just kind of threw them in there. Mhm. Mm so anyway, we're not gonna show the boss because the boss is just Barbos again. They moved him from uh, Razor Ridge. So instead, we're gonna check out the Razor Ridge boss, oh. which is something completely new. Oh, look at him. What is that? It's a giant wad of clay. <laughs> exactly, I don't even know. It doesn't look like anything. It's the so bombs. Yeah, is... <laughs> yep. So basically, Croctopus just ran, just attacks towards you, and you have to get him to poke the bombs. And then it hurts him. This, this whole fight just screams like Game Boy Advance -like limitations, like fake 3D stuff. Like, especially with the bombs, it's just like they're trying really hard to make it look fancy, but it doesn't work out. Yeah. It just looks so weird. Yeah. Also to note is if you stand near the bombs when they explode, they will kill you too. Yeah. Of course. It's actually a somewhat difficult fight your first time through, I think. Mm-hmm. Mainly because you kind of don't know what to expect, and... Yeah. It's kind of tricky. I, did, I, got, I do say I gotta like the boss music. Apparently mm. there's like two different boss tracks in this game. There are, yeah, and they're they're both pretty okay. Yeah, this one's the better one by far. Mm -hmm. But the but thing is... He's really angry and he's gonna use two of his arms. The thing is, I don't think K. Rule has his own theme. I think that's like the... Like what's different because of that. K. Rule doesn't have his own like theme. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that sucks. Yeah. You kind of expect the final boss to have his own theme. No, but... it's this. It's this song actually. I'm pretty sure. Oh, at least it's a good one. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, Cranky talks to you now. Uh huh. He's old. Yeah. Yep. He follows. He follows you all the way around just to tell you stories about the olden times of Donkey Kong. Exactly. Uh. Well. That's pretty much all the extras that I know of for this, so mm -hmm. we'll see you around. Thanks for watching.